Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw a play icon in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new document, 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. And I'm going to left click and hold on the shape tool and select the polygon tool. And next, left click anywhere on the artboard, leave the radius as 50 and just set the sides as 3. Click OK and you'll have a three-sided polygon, which is of course a triangle. And we can scale this up by holding shift. And then we can rotate this using either the rotate tool, or we can hover over the corner till we get this double-ended arrow, and then left click and hold shift. And by holding shift, it will rotate in increments of 45 degrees. So we'll have our play button, of course, pointing to the right. And we can scale this down either holding shift or shift and alt and it will scale towards the center. Next, we're going to left click and hold on the shape tool again and select the ellipse tool. Left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And we're going to go to object, arrange and center back because of course this new circle that we've created is now on top of our triangle. So by doing this, we have our triangle on top and our circle behind. So let's select the triangle. We'll remove that stroke and with the fill selected, let's go and double click on the black swatch and we'll set this as global. Click OK. And next we'll select the circle. And again for the fill, we'll select that same global black swatch and we'll remove the outline, the stroke. Now of course we can't see the play button, so let's give the play button, the triangle, a different color. So we'll double click white and again make sure we select global and click OK. Ah, oops, I've applied that to the stroke, but that's fine because you can swap the fill and the stroke instantly. So we'll just remove the black there. And again we can scale the triangle down holding Alt and Shift towards the center. So we now have a black circle and a white triangle. Now if I drag over both of these and go to the alignment options either at the top or in the panel on the right hand side, I can align these both horizontally and vertically. However, with a play icon, a triangle in a circle, watch what happens. So hopefully you can see that the triangle, although technically centered in Adobe Illustrator, isn't actually central. So the distance that we've created, if I just add some colors to show you what I mean, so the distance from the edge of the circle on both sides is technically equal on the left and the right. However, the triangle isn't actually centered, although technically it is, but it's not. So sometimes it's very good, and it's good to practice this actually, is to, if you try and center something in uh, any of the Adobe apps, and technically it's centered, but it doesn't quite look right, it looks unbalanced, that's where you're going to have to use your eye. You're just going to have to kind of judge it by eye. So I'm going to move this to the right a little bit to try and get back some of that balance. And I find that zooming out helps as well, zooming out nice and far, and then I can kind of get a, a zoomed out perspective on whether it looks central and balanced. Maybe just a little bit more to the right, and I think the triangle at the moment is a bit pointy, so I'm just going to drag from the right hand side and drag this in a little bit, just so it doesn't kind of stick out as far. And then of course I might need to recenter that by eye. Let's zoom back out. Just a tiny bit more to the right. You can tell I'm a perfectionist. Okay. So there we go. So this is what is technically centered. That's the one on the right here. And the one in the middle is what I've centered by eye. And in my opinion, the one in the middle looks a bit more balanced. So let's go back to that. We'll start working on this. So we'll scale this down a bit. It's a bit big at the moment. So let's just hold shift and scale both of these shapes down. Now what we can do is we can select the black circle, swap the fill and the stroke. So now we have no fill and a black stroke and we can increase the weight of that stroke so let's go for 12 and we can align this stroke to the center the inside or the outside but i think for now we'll just leave it centered 
And if we select the triangle, we can give this the black fill again. So it's that same global swatch. And we can adjust the size of our triangle as well. So we can scale it up or down by holding Alt and Shift. So we've got one version there. Let's just center that in the middle. So we've got one version here. We can also create a second version. I'll just drag this over by holding Alt and Shift and it will create a copy just off the artboard. So I can select the triangle and select the eyedropper tool. And if I eye drop the circle, it will take those same properties. So no fill and a black stroke and it will apply it to the selected shape. So what I can also do is select the triangle and from the stroke panel, I can actually round off those corners just by selecting round join. And it will just round off those corners just to give a kind of slightly softer edges. So we have the hard edge and we have the slightly rounded edges. So I think I'm going to go with the rounded edges. And depending on the style of play uh, icon that you're trying to create, you might go for a solid black fill with a white triangle, or you might go for something a bit more like this, so a bit more linear. So there we go, that's the finished play icon that I'm happy with. But one thing I can do now is rather than go and select both of these shapes manually, because they were created as a black global swatch, all I have to do is open up that swatch, select preview, and adjust the sliders until I'm happy. And it will update every instance of that swatch within the document. So if you have a really complicated document, but you've set it up with global swatches and you want to change the colors at a later date, guess what? All you've got to do is go in and change those swatches and all of the colors will update throughout your document. And there we go, that's how to draw a play icon in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time. There you go, so if you ever wondered how to draw a play button or a play icon or something play related, then now you know. <laughs>